Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dark Souls 2. My name is Brian, your host and commentator as always. I'm over here at the No Man's Wharf bonfire. We're going to go ahead and explore No Man's Wharf this episode. So that should be fun. Just fun. Just awesome. Oh, I want to light that torch. You know me, I like to light my torches. Let's go to the bonfire and light our torch. So that way we'll have a torch closer to everything. Or we'll have a light source closer to everything. So I have two uh, Pharos lock stones. You're going to want at least like... Oh shit. You're going to want at least one for this area. Maybe two, I don't know. I think it's only one though. One for sure. It's going to be very helpful if you have it. So just a heads up. There's another torch over there. Let's see. I think some guys will climb up the side of this. You can see one's right there. There's another torch. You know what? This guy with the bow, he ain't shit anyway, so I'm just gonna... Crap. There we go. Oh, no, I'm gonna get... Oh, okay. <laughs> His arrow got caught. It's like that. Ooh, we got a... This clown wants some. Let's go! Ouch. Uh, maybe we should take care of this, like, little, I don't know, fort over here or whatever. I like how I have a faster attack. It's pretty handy dandy. Um. This one, no. I think one of these you can break, and there's like some crap behind it. So let's go up here. I should probably heal real soon. Oh, whoops. Kind of fell there. Alright. So, yeah. Sorry, I haven't recorded in a little bit. I actually tried to um, relatively recently, and for some reason, the capture card wasn't working and then I was like fuck it I'll try again today or at least try and oh man I broke this oh I broke the chest damn what the fuck oh man what's in that I'm trying to uh, recall I think it's just like a Titanite shard yeah it's like something like that kinda of basic nothing too special um, ooh a torch soul of a proud knight Oh, I was hoping I get some life gems because I don't have any life gems. I was thinking of buying some, and then I was like, "No, nah, I'll probably just find some while I'm playing." I light this. Oh no! Dodge that! All right, we're gonna go up here and light this torch too because I'm a fan of lighting torches. I should probably heal though. I don't have a whole lot of health, and I can get killed with a <clears throat> combo real quick, especially after. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, especially after I get hit by that. All right, yeah, let's heal. I believe that's the only bonfire in this area. We might have to make a trip back to it. That's fine. It's all good. Let's take care of this clown. Got ourselves a summon sign right there, too. Oh, shit. Ooh, I did not mean to fall down here. That might suck. I didn't know that was going to break like that. No? No one down here? All right. Take care of this guy, though. Shit. Ouch. Still got hurt. Oh, wow, that's a lot of guys. Okay. Um, well, this is what we're going to do. We're going to summon this shade. That'll make things peachy. Crap, I don't have, like, a thrust move with one hand on this. I did not mean to do that. There we go. I handled it, though. Took care of things. Oh, that's not Peyton. Never mind. What was I thinking? Bradley of the Old Guard. He's only here on the uh, Scholar of the First Sin Edition because they made the Scholar of the First Sin Edition. Oh, he just healed me. Damn it. <laughs> I just wasted an Estus Flask. Made Scholar of the First Sin Edition, I, in my opinion, easier. But that's just my opinion. Especially with all the added summon signs for enemies. Are you going to climb up here? Do I have to light this torch? There he is. 
Atta boy. Take care of him real quick. Oh shit, there's another torch. I'm gonna light all these torches. Try torch. Thanks, man. I had no idea what to do. I'm only like three hours into this game. Not three, it's actually, I don't know how long we've been playing actually. It's probably a little, a little longer than that. I would assume not too much though, considering I only have. This one's gonna go down right there. Look at that, a life gem. Oh, come on. Charging through the water. Oh, we got another torch. Yeah, you're gonna wanna light up all these light sources just to make it easier because this place is really dark. But uh, also because there are certain monsters that are afraid of light. They're like, ah, I don't like the light. We got a clown over there trying to get through. Oh, don't don't go up there, man. Don't go up there alone. We gotta we gotta clear these houses out real quick. Search for goodies. Dark pine resin. Too bad I can't use it. I should carry a weapon that will let me use those. Though, like a plain weapon without an augmentation. Oh, all right. I also want to talk about something I'm really considering doing for my three-year anniversary. Which is not going to be a three-year anniversary of when I started the channel or whatever. Created the channel. Because that's like March, I think, 19th. Not March. May 19th or something like that. This guy's got a torch. This dude have a torch just to have a torch. So, like, he can drop one for you. I guess not. <laughs> Maybe there's a chance he'll drop the torch. You got that guy, Bradley? Looks like it. Alright. Um, so this must be a dead end over here. Eventually, we're going to lower that, that walkway right there to allow us to cross. Alright, we need to... Scoot on up here before Bradley disappears. Once he does, I'll probably head back to the bonfire. Shit. And, uh, because you can't summon him again until you reset the bonfire, unfortunately. Alright, nothing special up here. Oh, homeboy here wants some. Wants some of this. And I do not need these iron arrows. Give me better arrows. Let's go up here, though, for real. Almost attacked her. There's Lucetile again. Let's uh There it is. I knew there's <laughs> I knew it was one of these. Three human effigies. Wow. That's pretty good. We got Bradley behind you. Is he blocking that? It sounded like it, unless that was just the sound of his armor clinking. Um I'll come back and talk to you, Lucetile. Me and Bradley have some business we gotta take care of. While I still have him as a partner. I don't want to waste time talking to her have him disappear because this shit is a hell of a lot easier when you got a phantom or whatever helping you out another shade yeah I saw you in here waiting for me you weren't sneaky yeah see he's returning now okay well let's go talk to Lucetiel uh, real quick I don't think you can go in here can you nope nothing in there we got that actually we're gonna go ahead and explore up here real fast while we're here. Oh, there's <laughs> nothing up here. Okay. Um, all right. Lucetile! I want to make sure you talk to all these guys every time you see them. Per what use. is it? I don't know you, and you don't know me. Things are better that way. Didn't we already talk to her, though, in the Lost Bastille? <sighs> Oh, an odd one. Normally, people keep a safe distance when they see this mask. But you... I'm called Lucatil. From the land of Mira to the far east, across the mountains. They say Drang Lake brims with powerful souls. And so I came to claim my share. But what a strange place. Even the ruins did not prepare me. You are an odd one indeed. Well, you've made... I can see that you... I come from... Okay. Don't hesitate to call. Oh, never mind. I just skipped all that. Or I thought she said that. I don't know. Don't Whatever. So now we can summon her um, for a boss fight later on, which will be just handy dandy. 
Now, this Pharos Lockstone um, that we're about to use, it's not necessary. It just makes this area a hell of a lot easier. So that's why I'm going to do it. <laughs> Two on one. I guess I'll sell all these arrows later for a very minute amount of souls. So anyway, uh, back to the three-year <laughs> anniversary thing. I don't know if I'm not going to say what I'm going to do because I'm not entirely sure yet if I want to do it. But I don't know. It's something that a lot of people have kind of been requesting. So I don't know. I've just been a shitty YouTuber lately. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. Not good at uploading consistently, that's for sure. I've been having a lot going on in my life, though. God. All right, where where are we exactly? Oh, I kind of want to just go down there, but maybe I should go get Bradley first before I do that. Yeah, I'm thinking I should. Okay, let's do that then. Let's go get Bradley. We'll just cut up along like the right side there. Or the left side. I think you can get up there without going up those middle stairs in fact let's just go ahead and find out let's go reset everything it won't take us too long to get back we just need to go snag bradley real quick so he can help us with all the other crazy things that are going to go on but yeah just uh let me just, I'll, I'll just make it broad and quick you know like i've had a lot of stuff in my life a lot of things are going on really fast it's been a lot to take in, too, so it's been really hard for me to record with all that going on. Woo! Man, that was, uh, that got intense, all three of them ganging up on me like that. I was like, oh, shit. I said we were going to find out if you can get up there via this route. There's two guys in here. Woo! Thank you, Bradley. A distraction. All right, you take care of him, man. I'm going to go up here. Use you to do all my dirty work. Oh, yeah, I guess you can't. Never mind. Oh, jeez. Was not ready for homeboy right here. You gonna drop down here? So I can kick your ass? Thanks, Bradley. I will take the heel. Alright, let's go up uh, through the middle then. I think I was thinking about, like, how you can go up through the middle stairs, and then you can either cut left or keep going. That's probably what I was thinking about. Put soldier shield. Hollow infantry gloves. This might take two episodes, actually. Let's see how far we are into this recording. 13 minutes? Maybe not. Maybe we could bust all this shit out in one episode. I'd really like to. Be a bit easier for me to. Oh my god. Oh jeez. Dude just drops down there. He's like, I want Bradley. Of the old guard. I hate the old guard. The old guard is for chumps. And now Lucetille is gone. She gone. Just sneak up sneak up on that guy real quick. Oh, take care of you. Ooh, heal me. Yes, thank you. Bradley is my dude. You know what, let's take care of this guy because I feel like he could follow us. And I'm not trying to deal with that surprise attack like later on down the road, you know. But Rangi in cuffs. Maybe we should go upstairs, actually. Oh, God. Oh, did I kill him with that? I just, like, punched him in his spine and he was like, Ah! My weakness! How did you know? Oh, yeah, it's a dead end up here. Fuck, man. God. All right, let's go. 
This is some bullshit. All right. Um. Oh yeah, it's can't go up there. Got some clowns shooting arrows at me, throwing pots. So that way, if if you get hit by one of those, oh shit, nope, don't want to go up here. Don't want to go up here. Not yet. Not yet. Um. Here. All right. Well, I guess we'll just head down this way then. Sorry, I'm wasting your time, Bradley. He's like, yo, nigga, what's going on? I'm like, come on, man. I'm just trying to do my thing. It's a lot of dogs. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Bradley? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Task complete. Ah! Oh my god! Where did that guy come from? Oh, run! Oh, I better not get hit by an arrow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Drink that real quick. Holy shit, dude. Bradley disappeared real fast, too. I guess we'll just press on then, because it seemed like a lot of that... We didn't get a whole lot of, like... I just, like, did... All the shit I did earlier. He was a help, though. He assisted me in getting up here, I guess. So, thank you for that one. And I lit that on fire with my flame sword. I should probably heal fully, just because just I made it this far. Let's take care of this clown, and we're going to go ahead and light up everything. And apparently have some sort of invincibility right there. Oh, jeez. See how it lit up everything? It's so bright in there now. Yeah, stand in the fire. I can just funnel them, them in through here. Soften them up a bit with the fire. I like it. So yeah, putting that in will light this huge torch in the middle and it'll light like everything up. And it'll scare certain enemies away. Killed him with only two strong attacks. Maybe I should just use that to take out these guys. I feel like it eats up the same amount of, like, stamina, though. Got ourselves a nice little chest right here. I'm so scared every time I open up a chest, even though I kind of know which ones are trapped. It still scares the shit out of me. Nothing behind that wall. What's up here? Another chest. Repair powder and a titanite shard. I'm cool both of those. Ouch. Oh, there's just a dude standing here? Did you come from, like, the outside? Did I just walk right past you? What the fuck? Alright. Oh, yeah, and we got ourselves a locked gate thing right here. I think there's a guy. Yeah, I can see a guy standing in there, too. Another NPC. We'll talk to him in a little bit. Nice try, pal. All right. Did I... I guess that's everything up here. Let's go ahead and shoot on down. if we can like can we get down there through other means i guess we got to go up and around it looks like yeah we do okay barangian helm barangian helm i'm actually going to use a oh i only have one life gem i guess i'll use it Alright. Huh. So, up here there are certain enemies that are like these guys right here. They can be kind of a pain, but they are afraid of an open flame, that's for sure. Of course, if you attack them, I think they'll kind of just go at you. 
right, let's take care of this guy before he causes any real trouble. I feel like he could. And I ain't playing that bullshit. He's got to say bonfire? Nope. I think there's only one in this area, pal. Sorry. Alright, well, let's go over here. We got a lot of enemies in this little fucking cove. See, they'll back up into this, like, house so that way they can attack you and not be afraid of the fire. Or the light. <laughs> the fire. They have a move where they'll really fuck you up, to be honest. Right there. See, they attack you and then, um... They'll attack you and cause bleeding damage. And, like, once you, you know, take a bleeding damage or whatever, it, I don't know. Shit fucks you up. Oh, you bastard. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Woo! I was like, I gotta plan this out. Alright, that's my last, last Estus Flask. That really sucks. I'm gonna have to play it cool now. We still got one of these clowns in here. Fuck, man! I feel like I could... Oh, shit. Kill this last one, though. There we go. Took a hit there, but whatever. 9,000 souls. Man, I do not want to lose those. Is that all of them in here? Oh! Jesus! Whoa! Oh, my God. There's two more. All right. Fuck this. Nope. Nope. Homie ain't playing that shit. I'm just gonna grab this. Really hoping there was, like, some life gems right there, but apparently not. Yeah, get your ass back in there, scaredy cat. Uh, this is what we're gonna do, actually. I'm gonna try and get the objective done. Yes! Woo! Man, that was scary. I was like, I gotta time these hits perfectly. There's a bonfire right there. Hope I can survive a fall. Yeah, we'll come back up here and explore the rest of this area um, once we light up that, or once we lower that, like, drawbridge and stuff. Alright, I'll probably die if I drop down there. We'll explore that house with all those goons in it. Guess we go down there. Let me... down there. Yeah, I guess there's nowhere else to really go or drop down to. I guess we'll go down here. Fuck. Shit. Oh, man. I don't know what to do here. I think I do have some healing items, though. I guess I'll just drop down here. Fire longsword broken? That sucks. Okay. There's Lucetiel's summon sign down there. Alright. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Alright, let's just... Let's do it. We're just gonna go for it. Fuck this assassin guy. Oh, no way. Oh, fuck, man. All right. So I just took out these pussies up here. 
I should also note that uh, if you carry a torch with you, they kind of tend to, like, back up or, like, go on the defensive so they get scared of the torch, and it's kind of it's kind of nice. Makes it a little easier to fight them. Um, but anyway, I cleared out this place. There's, like, two of them upstairs. We'll drop out, so look out for that. Got ourselves a few goodies up here, a couple of chests. Great sword. All right, I do not care about that, and this one's probably not going to be anything cool. Oh, shit. Trap. Oh, my God. Silver Talisman. What the hell does that do? I think it... Oh, I think it gives you, like, <laughs> invisibility, maybe, or some. Oh, I'm not entirely sure. I need to go through these, though. Here's poison, restores HP. Sounds good. Oh, I guess that's it for, like, healing items or whatever. So took care of that. I also killed this guy beforehand because he likes to cause problems. Got some divine blessings. That's nice. Maybe I should use my life gems. I also died when I was trying to retrieve my souls. I died. I, I was wrong. I You cannot run up here with, like... And have all those guys follow. Like, they all follow you. They really do. I had to, like, bottleneck them and take them out. It was insane. Alright. I also went back and had to repair my sword, because as you saw, it broke. It wasn't getting shit for damage. Using repair powder after it breaks doesn't, like, work. So that really sucked. Um, I had to go back and repair it. And I also upgraded it. I, I added two levels to it. Made it a bit stronger, so I can kill these fuckers a bit easier. Since it seems to be the sword I'm going to be using for the time being. Oh, shit. shit. Oh. oh, my God. Oh, I should have done a light attack. No. Oh, my God. Ah. <laughs> uh.